Good morning, world. So it's a brand new day in Thessaloniki, and I'm on my way to catch a bus to go to Meteora, which has so many beautiful UNESCO monasteries that are literally just hanging at the top of a cliff. So if you're ready, let's go. So one of the truly amazing things about the monasteries in Meteora is they literally build them on top of these extremely steep cliffs. Like, can you imagine hundreds of years ago having to climb these, bring up all your supplies, and just start building a monastery like that? So that's one of them. But ta-da, there's the other one. And the fact that they survived all these years and they're still in use, like that's incredible. We made it inside the first monastery. In the 11th century, Hellenic started building monasteries on top of these steep cliffs to be closer to God. Starting around the 1600s, it became a refuge for Greeks because they were trying to escape the oppressive domination of the Ottoman Empire and they wanted to be able to preserve their Hellenic culture. As you can see, this is a beautiful architectural feat and absolutely a must visit. <gasps> Stunning. Okay, so that's part of the monastery, and you can see these are the kind of cliffs that they're literally built on, just straight drops. It took 22 years for them to lift all the materials needed for the monastery's construction via a rope basket and pulley system. When they finally had the materials on the boulder, it only took them 22 days to build the monastery and the Catholicon. They started construction in 1541, and in 1548, they finished painting the beautiful frescoes. Now, the really interesting thing is, initially, the only way to enter the monastery was to be lifted in via the pulley system. But in 1923, they added the 195-step entrance that is still used today. Headed, but I do see pretty rocks so I'm gonna walk towards the pretty rocks and hope that eventually I will have a decent view of something so let's go it's absolutely stunning so while the rest of my group is off chowing down at a restaurant for lunch I decided to skip lunch and look at this instead I'm gonna keep walking and see if I can get even better views soon enough look at these views this is phenomenal this is exactly how I want to be spending my lunch break I love this guy, he's so badass. He collects his firewood and he throws it off the bench. <laughs> okay, so I found like a little hiking path sort of thing, which is kind of cool. So I'm just gonna go hiking for a little bit until it's time to get back on the bus. Um, the only <laughs> dangerous thing about this, at least for me, is that I get so excited and get very overconfident about how much time I have. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can just keep going. I'll be back on the bus on time. Then I'll be like, oh shit, not much time. Run! <laughs> but look how cool this is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're getting some pretty views alert. Look at that. Bowsers. Thanks for joining my adventures in Meteora. And if you want to see even more of Greece, then check out my videos below.